Hello everyone, this is John Marks calling from Funding Gates and today we're going to be talking about your average days delinquent. And in order to calculate your average days delinquent, there's two things that you need to calculate. First, your average day sales outstanding, your DSO, which is your receivables volume, divide that by your credit sales for the period times the number of days. The second thing you need to do is calculate your best possible DSO which is basically your current accounts receivables, i.e. the receivables that is not yet past due. So your current receivables, divide that by your credit sales for the period and multiply that by the number of days. And first, basically, you need to calculate your credit sales, which is the denominator here, right? And in order to calculate your credit sales, you look at your income statement data and you take your gross sales and then you subtract your sales in cash, sales returns, or any sales allowances to get your credit sales. That's really important when calculating your DSO formulas. And then basically your average days delinquent is the difference between your average DSO and your best possible DSO. And it shows you how late on average your customers are paying, right? So it only looks at the past due invoices. And it adjusts for any, you know, increases in credit sales or when you're extending, you know, better terms to your customers, right? Uh, it, it excludes any of those scenarios and it looks at the most past due uh, invoices basically in your aging report, right? And so the closer you are to your best DSO, the better, right? And the deviation of around three to five days is actually pretty good, okay? So this is a really important metric that you should be tracking and ideally you should be tracking it every week or every month, right? Um, and set up some dashboards that you can track this metric over time, right? And here you can see your standard average DSO over time, and then your best DSO right next to it, right? And then the difference between the two, right, is your average days delinquent. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this, and yeah, stay tuned for more content.